We're here post game with Central Missouri for a 76 64 win over Linwood in the quarterfinals. We've got head coach Dave Slifer, senior Sydney Crockett, junior Megan Skaggs. We'll open with the opening statement from coach. We'll open the floor for uh, questions for all three. Well, uh, I think our first half uh, this game was better than the uh, first half we played against them uh, just a few days ago at the conference tournament. And so uh, second half, I was very proud of our kids. I thought we locked in defensively, and I thought we got off great, great shots. And we took care of the ball. We had eight turnovers that first half. It's tough to watch, but uh, uh, we ended up making plays in the second half and still only ended up with 12 assists and 12 turnovers. And I'm glad I'm off the snide now because uh, my crack newspaper guy found out that uh, whenever I play a team four times, I was 0-6 coming into this game. And so this has been 23 years of uh, frustration of playing somebody for the fourth time and we finally did get over the hump and uh, was very, very proud of this bunch. Uh, first off, I thought Mo Fleming uh, might have played her best game that she's played all year long. Uh, Meg does what she does by scoring and uh, only taking a few shots. And then Sid Crockett really gave us boost in both the first and second half. And I don't think you came out in the second half, did you, Sid? Mm -hmm. I don't recall of it, but uh, very, very good second half. Any questions? Yes, sir. Um, Paige Redmond, five points. She's your leading scorer. How does this team kind of react to her having a low-scoring game? Well, that's why we're a team. And uh, really, that was the first time all year long that Paige has even come close to not 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 being at the, the top of her game. And I am so proud of Emily Jopes for coming in and not only you know making the three that she made, but she we, we felt good when she was out there. We ran offense. We, we moved the ball. And she has come a long way from uh, just a few years ago. So we, we were fortunate to win a game when Paige doesn't have one of her better ones. But that's why you have another senior, Crockett, come up here, come up big, and then Megan Moe. And then I thought Peyton Taylor, for the first start of her career, had a uh, – uh, oh, it wasn't the first start of her career. Okay. Second. All right. Uh, thank you for correcting me, guys. Uh, I thought she was very, very solid. Megan, uh, was it just a night where you could – like where you felt it was going in well, or what kind of sparked your performance? Yeah, um, in, this, in uh, halftime we talked about getting the ball moved, and uh, eventually that opened up the post, so I feel like – um, I did make some plays, but you got to credit my um, teammates for making plays to get me open. Did you guys feel that, that four three-pointer stretch kind of change the tempo, change the momentum of the game? Yeah, you know, whenever you uh, hit a big three, it always, you know, you get the momentum, you get excited, and uh, you're just happy for your teammates. So it seemed like you guys kind of buckled down defensively in the second half. What kind of adjustments did you make defensively to slow them down a little bit? Um, I think we just made more adjustments of getting up and making sure that we keep them in front of us and having our help side and just basically playing team defense uh, all around. How much of a concern was it having to beat, beat this team four times? Was that something that kind of you guys worried about? Or? Um, I don't know if it necessarily worried us, but we just knew they came every time with a fight and it was going to be a hard game for us. So we, it just came down to who was going to work harder and who was going to put more sweat and all that. Was it difficult uh, for in kind of a flat arena as, as a noon game on Friday um, to find that energy as compared to the municipal crowds you've been playing in front of? Yeah, we talked about um, you know creating our own energy, but also having our band and cheerleaders and you know parents coming to support us helped a ton, and we really appreciate them making the trip. Anything else for the players and coaches? Thanks. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.